Welcome to our lesson on interpreting speed and time graphs. So here we have a graph of a journey of a London tube train between two stations. And we're going to match each of these parts to our graph. To do this, I'm going to break the graph up into sections. And I'll label each vertex with a letter. For our first section, this decreases with speed to approach the next station. So you can see between C to D, the speed is decreasing from 60 to 0. And it does this in a time from 80 to 140, which is 60 seconds. So this part goes to here. And for the next one, it departs the station and increases in speed for 30 seconds. So now we have starting at 0, increasing in speed to 60 and this takes 30 seconds so this part goes here and then we have it travels at a constant speed of 60 meters per second and you can see here the speed does not change the speed is constant so you can see the train has sped up it has gone at a constant speed and then it has decreased in speed to a stop, probably at the next station. So this section would go here. OK, let's move on. So now we're asked to find the acceleration over the first 30 seconds. Acceleration is a measure of speed divided by time. You can see the time is 30 seconds. And over these 30 seconds, it increases to 60 meters per second. So our acceleration is 60 divided by 30, which is 2. And it's important to understand what's happening here to understand the acceleration units. So we have meters per second here divided by seconds. So meters per second divided by seconds and here we have a division of fractions and to make this easier I'm going to write this over 1 and when we divide with fractions we change the divide to a multiply so we have meters per second multiplied and we flip this upside down which is its reciprocal and we can work this out as meters times 1 which is meters and seconds times seconds, which is seconds squared. So our acceleration is two meters per second squared. So this means that every second it is increasing by two meters per second. So now we've been asked to find the acceleration over the final 60 seconds, which is this part here. Do you want to try and do this yourself by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready? So again, acceleration is speed divided by time. And we can see the speed is from 60 to 0, which is negative 60. And this is in meters per second. And the time is from 80 to 140, which is 60 seconds. So negative 60 divided by 60 is negative 1. And meters per second divided by seconds is meters per second squared. And you can see our acceleration is a negative, which means it is slowing down. OK, let's try one more question. So in this question, we're going to work out the total distance travelled. And to do this, we need to understand how to work out the distance. Well, we know that speed is distance divided by time. So the distance will be the speed multiplied by time. And it's important to understand how this gives us an answer in meters. And to do this, we need to understand what's happening with these units. So we have meters per second multiplied by seconds. And again, I'll write this as a fraction, seconds over one. So you can see we have this second as a division, and this as a multiplication. So these two 
will cancel. So now we have meters divided by one are just meters. So to work out the distance in meters, we have to work out the area underneath this graph because area is a product of two dimensions. In this case, speed and time. And to work out the area, I'm going to consider it as three shapes. We have our triangle here, where the height is 60, the base is 30. So this is going to be 900, which is in meters. And then we can add this to our rectangle here, where we have a base of 50, and again the height of 60. The product of 50 and 60 is 3000, again in meters. And the next one, we have this triangle, where we have a base of 60 and a height of 60. So this will be 1800 meters. So the total distance will be the yellow triangle, 900 meters, plus the rectangle, 3000 meters, plus the green triangle, 1800 meters. So we have a total distance of 5700 meters, or 5.7 kilometers okay thank you for watching and i hope you found that useful thanks again and take care